house project series. In this episode, we are going to be transforming our doors. We currently have these orange hollow core doors, which originally matched the floor, but since we refinished it and changed the color, now we need to update our doors so that it modernizes it a bit and matches our style better. So if you'd like to know how I achieved this, then keep watching. Three swords on the card, sour by Wednesday, we say our goodbyes. In the last video, we've been living without doors, and that's because we originally took them off so that we could refinish the floor easier. And it's been several weeks without doors now, so we are very eager and excited to get these transformed and hung back up so that we can get our house functional again. total of seven doors that I'm working on and it was really nice to have the basement to be able to work on them inside and have space to lay them out. So another benefit of our unfinished basement. But some of you may be wondering why we didn't just buy new doors. And that's because with seven doors it would have been quite expensive to replace them with the style of door that we wanted. So we opted for a DIY version and that made it a lot more doable and a lot more affordable to get the look that we wanted. So you can see here I am measuring the doors and then snapping lines to mark where the trim is going to go. Each door was actually a different size so I couldn't just cookie cutter this, I had to measure specifically for each door. But what I decided to do to make them all look the same was to measure 5 inches from the edges so that they all had the same border around them and that way they look similar without all being the same size. So I basically figured out the lengths of trim I need and where they're gonna go on the doors. And then I used my iPad to curate all the different measurements. So I had them all in one place and I could write a checklist for each length of trim that I needed and I can check them off as I go. I'm taking the measurements on the paper and cutting the trim to length and doing this for all the doors. And I did measure to add trim to both sides of the doors since you'd see both sides except the closets. So I have quite a bit of trim to cut. Okay, now I have all of my pieces cut. Now these are going to make rectangles and so these pieces need to match up. So I need to cut 45 degree angles on each of these pieces so they match up perfectly. What we need to do then, ouch. What we need to do then is move this to be 45 degrees, lock it, then we're going to take this, make sure it's on our long side, line it up, and... picked up this trim from Home Depot. They have a lot of different trim styles, so I just went in and picked the one that I like the best. And I'm really happy with this one because it's the perfect size and has just the right amount of detail on it. to match each specific measurement of trim to the door that it belongs to, because again, each door was a different size. And I'm taping them down to show exactly where I need to glue them and holds the rectangle together so that when I glue them, they match perfectly together. liquid nails to glue the trim down and this actually worked really good because it's really strong but I did have to really tape down the trim after I glued it because the glue tended to like dry and then raise the trim up a little bit so that'd be my tip is just make sure you tape your trim back down as it dries. Okay, 
so all the trim is cut and glued onto the doors and they've dried overnight. I actually went to the store yesterday. We chose a paint and I got a gallon of it. I'm super excited to paint them. I can't wait to show you guys the color we chose, which is gonna look so good in our house. But before we can paint, since these are doors that have like a finish on them, um, technically you're supposed to sand down the finish first so that the paint can stick. But I don't want to sand all these doors, um, nor do I have time to. So what I'm gonna do instead is I got a really high quality paint that has paint and primer in one. But just in case, I'm going over with Crud Cutter, which is a no rinse TSP substitute. Um, Ace didn't have TSP, so I got a uh, off brand. Basically what this does is it takes off the shiny finish on um, doors and it gets rid of any kind of debris, food, gunk, grease, all that kind of stuff um, so that the paint is going to stick really, really good. These doors are quite dirty. Um, not only were they dirty before we moved in because they had kids and there's just like food splatters and like all kinds of stuff on these doors, which is kind of gross. But we also sanded our floors so they have a ton of like wood dust on them. Um, they also have chalk from when I snapped lines to measure for the trim and all this kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do before I paint is actually go over them with this cleaner and get off the gunk so that they're prepped and ready for painting. Very excited about this color. This is Texas Storm by Magnolia Homes. Ready? Ooh la la. was so satisfying to see this orange disappear and to get a new color on these doors, it just freshened them up so much. The color is a gray with a slight blue undertone and it adds just the right amount of color to our house without being overbearing. So I'm just going over everything with a paintbrush for the edges and then a roller for the middle like you can see. And this is actually the last step before we put on the new hardware and can mount these doors, which I'm very excited about. I'm gonna stay. Last step, I got these new hardware pieces from Amazon actually. I got the rounded ones and they fit our doors perfectly. And I got it in a black finish because I thought that that really updated the doors and modernized them quite a bit. If you guys want the link to these, just let me know and I can leave them down below. They came in a pack of eight, I think. And so it was actually really affordable to get these and just really classed up the doors. definitely took some time to redo but we are so happy with the final result it just totally changes our house and the feel of it so if you made it to the end thanks for watching if you'd like to see the other episodes in our house renovation projects i'll leave the playlist linked up in the top right and subscribe if you want to see episode six which is probably my favorite one so far so keep a lookout for that i'm hoping to have it up next week let me know what you think of this transformation down below in the comments i love to hear from you guys and thanks for watching